a pleasure to run into legendary caddy and announcer, probably golfer, I'm <laughs> sure, Jim Bones Mackay. That, I got that right, didn't I? Yeah, you nailed it first right. time. Good, good. Um, tell me what you were just telling me inside the ropes about how players play Lynx golf and use their imagination, please. Well, yeah, it's certainly a completely different style of golf than we're used to seeing in the States. Oftentimes in wind, such as we're seeing today, upwards of 20 miles an hour, it's played along the ground. But it's just uh, you have to use your imagination quite a bit more, I think, than you have to in the States. And it's why so many guys come over and play the Scottish Open the week before, because you just can't get enough practice or hit enough short shots around the greens in terms of establishing what you're going to do once the week starts. But uh, certainly for any amateur or any professional, for that matter, you've got to come over here and do, do it. It's, it's just the greatest place to come and play golf I've ever been to anywhere in the world. And it's a real treat. Some of the friendliest people, but Lynx golf truly is a style unlike no other. Are you getting to tee it while you're here? I have in the past. I didn't bring my clubs this week because I've got a lot going on. But a couple of years ago, we stayed for a week afterwards. We played St. Andrews and a couple others, a couple in Northern Ireland. And it's just, uh, it's heaven on earth. You know, it's, uh, it's, there's nothing better than having a, a round of golf with your buddies and talking it over and having a drink afterwards and reminiscing about the day. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a golf destination like no other one that I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm spending a month here. How do you like <laughs> being on the other side of the ropes, up in the tower, wherever you are, walking the course a lot? How do you like that? I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's good for me. I mean, I'm getting a little bit older, so it's a, a lot less taxing, physically speaking, to uh, walk around with a microphone rather than a golf bag. But I'm still out there between the ropes with my friends. Uh, players and caddies, that is, and it's, it's. I love watching golf play at the highest level, and of course, this is it. So whether it's PGA Tour over here at a major like the Open Championship, it's just nice to see these guys come out here and do their things. It's a fantastic golf course, underrated, I would say. I don't think it's nearly enough credit for being one of the really great courses on the rotation. And it's nothing quirky about it. It's right there in front of you, but uh, it, it, you, you better come out here and command your golf ball, otherwise you're going to have a long day. And of course, it's got the postage stamp, which you can I think claim is one of the two or three greatest par threes anywhere in the world. So, so much to see here at this golf course.